In the first XFX Grid Slideshow tutorial, we ran through all the effects in the browser to see what they did. Now we're going to build a slideshow from scratch using these two stills on the timeline. The first thing to do is to make each into a compound clip. You can either do that by on the keyboard going Option or Alt Command G, or right clicking does exactly the same thing. Now if I open both of them up, and then go to the inspector, and we'll scale this up so I've got enough media to be able to move. They're quite high resolution images, so they should be fine. That one's okay. And the VW. Again, we need to be able to have some space to do the move. Great. This is a 1080 timeline, and there are effects for 1080 and effects for 4K, so pick whichever one you need. It's important because each effect precisely moves the image depending on the size of the compound clip. So I'm going to pick this up, move to the left. And as you can see straight away we have that moving. And then with the VW let's do a zoom. Don't need a separate uh, 1080 or 4K one for that, it works the same. And there we go. Let's increase that a bit more. Starting to look good. Right, let's put some grids over the top. For the first clip, the man, I'm going to make that into quarters. So we'll go up to the grids, drag that down, like that. And then for the VW, we use the ninths. We use the sixteenths in the demo video, but um, I don't want to have to move each of those little panels. So let's do, um, yeah, let's do ninths for that. That's looking good. On each of the grids there are various controls. You can of course push the lines up, use a different colour, so you could do black, or white or your choice, you can pick a colour, um, and build in and build out, so you can have the grid fade on or fade off. And you can also put a little drop shadow on, I don't know if you can see that. There we go. Not for this one though. Make that the same length. Here is where it gets interesting. Underneath the grid, but above the VW picture, I'm going to put some offsets in. And what that does, it splits the picture up into tiles, and then you have full control over X, Y, scale and rotation of each tile on, on the picture. So I need to go to the same corresponding plugin. Here we have 233, so the one I want to go to is 333, and drop that underneath the grid. Now nothing pops up yet but I'll show you why, just we'll trim that one down. If we go into the offsets in the inspector, here you can see we have the nine panels and size, position, X, Y and rotation for each. Let's do uh, the middle one, that would be panel five. As you can see I've got the size control here, again all perfectly matches up. If I wanted to be really wacky I could actually go in and alter the rotation of each panel, but maybe not for this one. And also I will speed this up so you don't have to watch me do all of the rest. There we go, I've adjusted each panel and when it gets played back you get this nice offset going on with all the panels. Now I want to add some transitions between the two and you can see on this we have the quad split or quarters and then the ninths. So I need to find the corresponding transition overlays that go with them. And they're fairly easy to, to spot as you can see. So let's drop this one on, which is quarter into white. And then we're gonna do exactly the same, um, but with the ninths. And you can see here, now we have transition between the two. Really quick way of building a good looking slideshow. And you can cut and paste, mix and match, whatever you like. Uh, just tinker around with it to get a great looking slideshow. A really good way of spicing up some stills. And in the next tutorial we're going to look at some advanced techniques of using some masks and also varying the white patterns to randomise them.